Welcome everyone to the episode 3 of The Long Dark. We are here in the cabin, having just emptied it. Except for this backpack. <laughs> and this new sprint roll. Did I not loot this place? Oh yeah, it only uh, <laughs> it only saves when you enter a building. So uh, we need to open this all up again. But thanks for joining me for the, our th third episode, but it's still the first day of the survival, um, it occurred to me that we might want to return back to the cabin before night falls. There's a lot of wolves out there, but I think we can make it. Um, if not, it'll be a very quick episode. Because I would love to be able to hit one of these fishing shacks on the way, because we're quite low on supplies, generally, I would still say. And we would benefit greatly from setting up a fire, even though I have messed it up uh, last episode, prompting the rushed uh, return to the ice. But anyways, hope you're having a good day today. I am, kind of. I woke up a lot later than I would have preferred. I woke up around 1. <laughs> uh, but a lot of that was because... Last night was kind of weird. Ooh, a hunting knife. Excellent. Uh, I ended up going to sleep around, you know, 1.30, you know, Friday night. And I'm in my bed. And then around 4, I wake up. And there's a knocking at the door. Ding dong. You know. And so I'm like, who could that possibly be at 4 o'clock? And so I kind of walk there. I'm like half naked. I don't have a shirt on. Um, wondering who this is. And I open the door, and it's a guy with pizza, you know, a delivery man. And I'm like, oh, Nihal, uh, you know, who, who are you looking for? And he's like, oh, don't speak English. And I'm like, okay, okay, uh, I didn't order a pizza, you know, I said. And he's like, oh, but, you know, I have a pizza. I under can understand his plight, you know. It's like, okay. So I look around at my, like, roommate's doors. Because I have a couple of roommates. Okay, we need to be very careful here. Story time is fun as long as I don't get us killed while st speaking. Okay, we aren't going to risk those ice hats. But yeah, so... um. Oh, that's a wolf right there. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, brief pause. Because I don't have any flares. And so we need to do this right. Um... I'll get back to the story, but I really need to make sure that we're safe here. Okay, we're gonna cut across the middle here. That wolf is in like exactly the wrong spot. Well, I mean, if we're gonna be diverted, we might as well see what's in here. Who knows, there might be a gun. I never found a gun in one of these places, but that would be nice. <laughs> I'm gonna die in this episode, aren't I? This was a stupid idea. We should have stayed in the cabin and waited out the night. Nah, we can do it. Okay, I'm gonna go kind of along this ridge here as best as I can so that he has a hard time getting to us and we're just gonna hide in the cabin all night. And hopefully he won't stay there overnight. Um, so yeah, I was looking at my roommate's doors, trying to see if anyone was awake at that time. And my British roommate, it just kind of like collapsed on his back, on his bed, like sleeping door half open. I think we're going to make it. If there's a wolf hiding up here, we're screwed. But I think we've made it. It's not interested in us. This isn't the frozen person you're looking for. Oh my god. I almost risked a sprained ankle there. Okay, I've been running this whole time. Which is great for conserving energy. Uh, okay, the sun's setting. We're here at the camp office. Oh, lovely. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I see my uh, British roommate just kind of you know, collapse on his bed. I'm like, I don't know what he's been up to. 
And so I go back to the delivery guy. I'm like, oh, he's in there, but I don't really want to wake him up. And so the delivery man makes a phone call to his guy. Then I hear the ringing in that room. And what do you know? It is indeed that roommate. And so he wakes up due to the phone call and he stumbles out. <laughs> ah, let's start a fire. And so I'm just glad I didn't have to wake him up. But yeah, I was up at like four in the morning as a result. So that wasn't the best. I wasn't really angry about it though, but I was more just like, huh? We'll boost it all. What? You know, <laughs> kind of silly like that. We're cooking up some venison here. And we have plenty of firewood. Okay, maybe we don't have plenty of firewood. Let's um, let's make some herbal tea. Because we have a good bit of water. We picked up a couple water bottles on our run. So we should be good through tomorrow. So we can focus on uh, on uh, be able to make food. In fact, let's prepare with the last bit of this our pork and beans. Using a knife to open it. Nice warm pork and beans. Reward ourselves for having fended off Three, three wolves, and avoiding about eight. <laughs> we did good. We done good. Oh, and we'll um, boil the unsafe water I made earlier. And that should be about the last of the fire. Then I'm just going to have a bit of food. Actually, let's do it when we wake up. Although, we did just make a piping hot thing of pork and beans. So, we'll do that. Get our calories up. And we'll go to sleep. It's only 6, but we just need to kind of stay put. And it's windy outside. Don't you hear that? It's going to be dark when we wake up. So bear that in mind. I have a storm lantern, but I'm not sure I want to waste the kerosene in it. So it's going to be very dark here. Oh dear. Perfectly dark. <laughs> we'll have a little bit of herbal tea. It's not very good on uh, thirst, though, unfortunately. And we'll sleep for a couple more hours. How about until six? Oops, I picked up the bedroll. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, we'll rest. Just so that there's some light out. And also because we aren't gonna be going outside that early. It's gonna be so cold, no way. So, pick that up. We're looking pretty good overall. We're quite low on food, like, we can pro- Well, no, we have venison. We're probably good for two days of food? Drink is a little bit more marginal. We probably have enough drink for a day and a sleep. But that sounds enough to me. We can get rolling. I'm gonna take a quick peek outside. Cross your fingers that there isn't a wolf. To see how windy it is out there. Because I want to check out. Oh, yeah, that's quite windy. We'll wait a couple of more hours. I'm going to try to see if I can consolidate my inventory really quick. If this takes a while, I'll fast forward it in post production, but it shouldn't take too long. Oh, we need to wear these work boots, they're a lot warmer. A good bit heavier though. They weigh like five pounds <laughs> as opposed to two and a half. But that's okay. We can um let's harvest those work boots. Where are they? Ah, uh, uh, sorry, the basic boots rather. That'll give us some time and also get us some leather. 
which we'll need in the long run. Um, in terms of our clothing, how much cloth do we have? Cloth is going to be kind of important to us because we need to repair our stuff. It looks like we only have leather. One moment. Ah, oh, sorry, had a cough. Oh, I know what we can do. We can um, harvest some wood for our next fire. We can uh, spend about an hour and a half doing that. We have to wait for a proper setup anyways and for the winds to go down, so this is a good move. Excellent. We're a little bit hungry now, and I want to go out and explore a bit. I don't really know the maps too well, but we covered a lot of ground last time. And you remember those construction uh, shelters? I would like to kind of poke around back to those, if we can. And there is a clearing just a little bit north of this um, cabin. Or I'm not sure it's north. I, I think I actually saw the sun rising, so I guess it's uh, east. I want to check out what's up there. So let's go. We'll try to aim for the construction shacks. Okay, wind's died down. Looks a bit warmer. Do we see any wolves nearby? We can run back into the house if we need to. No, looks okay, although, what's this? Oh no, another dude. Well, he left some soda for us, and he's basically in a snow grave. Man, it's gonna be so sad when uh, we all recover from this, and like uh, we send some folks up here to clean up. Is that a wolf? Yeah, that's a wolf, if I've ever seen one. He's gonna be coming in between us and our shelter, and it's starting to snow again. And we do not have a flare. Oh, and there's the train wreck. I don't see an over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, cow. Holy cow. Um. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> the episode where we die. Okay, we're cut off from our shelter already. And... We can't really go in the direction we really want to go in. Well, maybe over there we can. Well, let's check the train. Like, if they're if the those are the wolves from who were by the train earlier, maybe we'll be okay. And we do have knives. Like, if they. Oh man. And is that a wolf there? Yeah, we aren't going that way today, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll check out the wreck train later. Okay, and we're getting kind of cold. I'm just going to kind of sneak into here. And we're going to try to do our best to avoid the wolves. Oh, I hate ridges, man. I hate ridges. Because there could be a wolf just like right there. Or right there right there <laughs> and we don't like that there's a deer the good news my plan if we if a wolf starts to come on to us is to drop one of the pieces of venison we have just drop it on the ground nice and cooked which will suck but oh, the wolves in this game apparently I've done some reading um, will sometimes go for that over you. So it's like our best chance, I think. I don't want to risk, you know, knife fighting a wolf. <laughs> when you're knife fighting a wolf, you've know you've, you, you know you've done something wrong. Okay, that's where we got the vantage point last episode that saved our butts. And so we were running away from over here, which I guess is where the uh, logging area is. Yeah, that's the uh, railroad right there that we ran away from the wolf. Oh, boy. 
Oh, what's... Okay, it's very important that I don't fall off a cliff right now, don't you think? We'll go over this ridge, because I, I guess that's over here is where um, the construction site shelters are. We're already well into the episode. I'm trying to keep episodes around like 20 minutes. I figure that's a good time. Like, it's what a TV show is, minus the commercials, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a TV show. Oh, you know what? I bet it's down in this hollow down here. But let's not be too quick to lose all the energy we've invested in having this altitude. Because if that's not it and we have to climb up another ridge, that's spent calories, you know. Okay, we're freezing. Definitely could use one of those construction shacks. I just can't see down there. You can't, can you? It's getting very steep. I'm gonna try to muscle my way up here. Because I... Because the construction site was in the middle of this ridge, I think. Like, we walked a good bit of a ways before we had to run away from the wolf. And so... I feel like it'll be over here. I put these headphones on, and I have them on so I can get the direction of the wolf howls, but it occurs to me I might have the left one in the wrong ear, like I've swapped the headphone pieces, which would be unfortunate, I think. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Okay, yeah, let's try. That looks like a lookout. Like, um, sometimes... Uh, park ranger services will put these kind of like um, I mean they're called lookouts and they'll put them in kind of remote areas so that when they're out like you know doing tree counts or conservation efforts of one kind or another they'll have these little posts so that they can crash there you know in between you know like when they leave the main road and they go into the forest it's kind of like where they'll stay until they you know take a day trip back out to civilization and that is a prime candidate for like really good supplies so we're gonna prioritize getting up there um it's very steep and i'm hoping that there's a road that goes up to there or a path because rangers i mean their whole thing is uh trail making and you know conservation efforts but originally they're about setting up paths, uh, save points, stashes, stuff like that, and um, also law enforcement. Um, although I'm not sure how much of a police force they ever were, but they were definitely there to serve some of the more... Whoa, I thought that was a wolf. <laughs> yeah, we still need to be careful of wolves. Okay, yeah, here's the path. All right, we'll just go up here. Let's really hope that there's no wolves up here. Oh, but that would be such a good place to rest up for the day. At least until... Forestry. Let's take a quick survey of the area down here, and then we'll go up there for warmth. We'll kind of huddle there. Hopefully we'll have so much stuff that we'll have difficulty deciding what to take. And we'll do that. Oh. I guess that's one of the rangers. Or maybe someone just like us. One thing I'm looking forward to in the story mode of this game is it says that we went down in a plane crash. But it doesn't say that the world went to hell you know, before we took off in the plane, right? So, like, assuming a plane flight is a couple hours, a lot of people died really quickly. And from exposure, it seems like. <sighs> I 
a brief respite. Another rifle round, I see. And then we have a lot of bullets, but we don't have a gun. Antiseptic candy bar. Looks like a gun rack, but no gun. Is there anything on oh, a pry bar. I think we already have one though. You might have to sort out and prioritize a bit. A radio. Can we call for help? I guess that's a geomagnetic storm bit. It's big doing a big electromagnetic pulse or something like that. Fried all the electronics. Okay. We are quite cold, but I wanna look around a little bit. Just on the veranda here, and kind of get a sense of what's up. I think that's a logging area. And I don't see... Ooh, some birds there. Another logging area here. In fact, based on where we were walking, I think the construction site uh, tractors, trailers rather, are over there. Which means that Mystery Lake is down there. Alright. And it's early in the day, so... Unfortunately, there's not as many supplies in here as I would have liked. But we do have a better sense of direction. And that's invaluable. So, let me see how much fire we have. We have a good bit. We can definitely start a fire here. Uh, so I'm going to have a bit of food. How about, um, I'll have some beef jerky. That sounds good to me right now. And I'm going to call it for now. We've, I've reached the time limit. And so next time, we'll try to warm up a little bit, maybe take a little bit of a nap. And then we'll probably go down to the construction trailers down there and see what's in those. And hopefully we can find some kind of... I would like to have a gun so we can hunt. Or at least be able to do some trapping. So thanks for watching. Stay alive out there. Peace.